Page versus Blacklist International. I'm loving it. Well, who would have thought that we'll go back in 2021 for a double tank set up in the mid lane? And the support rolls, right? Oh, anyway, it has been a long time. Haji blasting away at Maloyski, forcing out that flicker. Oh, my Venus puts him a little more just to make sure. Forcing out an early recall down bottom, but uh, here in this lane. Oh, 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 close. He's gonna get denied yes. his gold. Oh. Hart barely gets it. Marky with the wings by wings, scaring him to death. Almost to death. Oh, look at the Virus. I think he's gonna make a move on to Farsa. Hello. That's a 2v1 down there. Kyrie using that passive so perfectly. They're gonna get first oh, blood on the Farsi. No no surprise no damage on the Barats. Kyrie takes oh, it away. Oh, my God. It's a double kill for the big dino. Oh, like oh, that big Ultimate time, bonding dude. experience. That is the name of the game. What the heck was that? I am I'm lost for words right now. Wise. Oh, That's no. A oh no. Wise was just phenomenal. Using the Sokol teamwork as, as well as the big guy passive. And Oni PH made a, made a mistake trying to go close range against the Barats. That's what you never want to do. Surely you have the passive from uh, from uh, Weiss, from Yi Sun Shin, but both Farsa as well as this uh, Yi Sun Shin so low makes it so that just one kill for Weiss make, will uh, prop the killing spree and eventually will win the 2v1. Not to mention the holy healing. So yeah, perfectly put. It's a mini ultimate bonding experience, but it was so clutch. A thousand gold ahead already. Blacks International not even starting up this turtle. They're going to put it over to their end of this nest. Mount Shocker checking where everyone is. Edward going to try to Keep Delarski at bay. Here's all four members wailing away. Oh, maximum range on this turret. And that's going to be Dennis Welcome getting my girl. Oh. Throwing him into a wall. Kyrie's going to secure it. Bombs away. Has he throws out. Edward? No caution to the wind. That's Kyrie taking it down. Turn it out for Edward. Two for one so far. Beloyski falls. Blacklist International securing the body count but gives up the turtle. So worth it. Definitely, Definitely not, not. not for Oni PH. Yeah, for sure. They get the turtle, surely. But then they get Blacklist International again with the bait. They lure Oni PH into that spot once again where they were crumped up together. And with the AoE from Blacklist International. Ooh, Blacklist has double marksman so crumped and already won the early game. The fact that they also had to use Marky into the mid lane. Oh! They check the into that Numenon Blast and Delarcy punishing them, putting so many stacks on that Ionic Edge. Spots out the Queen. He's not done. He's gonna try to take down this Rafael. Holy healing. Dennis, welcome. Delarcy purifies and let's go. Wolf, you were saying? Yeah. They had to use the Farsa into the mid lane, which kind of left Ohev free with what? at least two lanes. Oh! 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 Finally gets it. So here's a little bit of a delay clarification for Onik. Look at that face, Marky, with the smirk right there. He's so happy about that. But again, Black is International now early on. Pushing in the bases. Not gonna be good. Wait a minute. Oh, that's okay. gonna be a fight here in the purple buff. A punish onto the attempted doing, steal and invade. What was that? Wow. Again, it's a holy healing and the killing spree. Deadly that? combo. So fixated into trying to punish Weiss this time. And so far, Weiss has been winning all of them. 3 0 and 1 on this Barrett with the help of Oh My Venus. Just not leaving this. This is again Rafael and Barrett's combination. And on and Blacklist International are really the big proponents of this. And they have mastered it so well. Well, let's see right now. Blacklist International going in with the winning lanes. Able to get so much done on the map. Again, this is one of the pure the critical elements that made Onyx PH such a force in that upper bracket. The winning lanes that are able to set up for the turtle for that neutral objective. The banana split. Remember, and now Blacklist with their own winning lanes and their winning jungler. It's so hard for Onyx Philippines to just crack open and just play their game. The banana split hasn't been a thing. Since game two. Yep, in a vacuum, yes. Onyx is winning the lanes 1v1. Delarski dictating the pace, I mean, kicking Edward out of his lane. But when it comes to these engages, these exchanges, I mean, Black and National just winning completely. Hey, securing that turtle, turtle, forcing Beloyski away. And in this case, wow. it's fine. Edward looking low. Delarski gets a kill. Haji unable to protect his Esmeralda. They're gonna have to disengage here. And look how deep Onyx is. Yep. Yep, again, Onyx Philippines, this is what they need to do. They need to start to play their own game. Play their game. Oh no. Ah, Beloyski taking down the shield is not enough to protect him. Beloyski looking good on Yannis, but I think the Marksman caught winning early game. That is not good, buddy. It's again, Weiss just running. Literally uh, over this uh, Lolita. And Lolita cannot, uh, cannot stop the damage output coming out from Wise. And they're just using uh, this uh, Barats with the turtle buff so well. And look at how much chunk, uh, uh, the big of the chunk of the damage he deals against oh. all these heroes. That's the strength of a jungle Barats. And with the Rafaela to help him up with more, more movement speed. And then eventually the War Axe rocking. It's, that, it just makes so much place for the team. And eventually, no, we just talked about it. Do two sentences. And eventually Blacklist gets a push up the bottom lane. You're right. Marky has to be present. If not, they'll just suffer the same consequences. Wise trampling over them with this Barat. So they have to perfectly time these team fights. Uh, I'm guessing Kyrie has to be on point every time. Yeah, finally now, it's actually a switch. Right? Usually we see Onyx PH the ones with the early lead. Oh, oh my God. goodness, picking up another kill on the board. And they're looking so for more. The Onyx Philippines on the other map, on the other side. I mean, that's it. Haji goes for the rage. And there's a wave of the dragon. Damage. But they just served him up to Kyrie. Edward pushes him back. Beloisky with the Luminum Blast. Trap between three members. Beloisky? They're going to try to get this kill. And there's the rage. There's the passion. And there's a trade so far. One for two. Haji goes down. Dude, down what was that Lolita? And they're pushing in. So many turrets going down. Top, bottom, mid. Only going to be stopped by Marky. Wings by wings away. Here comes Omai Venus and Edward fighting down. Marky's going to survive this one. Mountain Shocker. Omai Venus catches a few. But why is he going to steal away this oh. orange? Oh goodness, map, total map control for the side of Blacklist International as Oheb is now freely farming around. When Blacklist International makes a play on the opposite side of the map, there is Oheb just taking turrets and now they are farmed a 4,000 gold lead for Blacklist International. Two levels right now for Wise on top of Kyrie. Oh, hatred. Okay. The okay. Hatred. What a pick, so Kisha. The space time walker. Oh, the Winner Blast, no one home. That's going to be the turtle. Prioritize here by Yi Sing Shin. On a page, gets it. But at what cost his life? Edward takes down Kyrie. Beloisky and Delarski are running. Here comes Edward. Dancing around Beloisky. Put up a shield. I'm going to eat it. Delarski as well. There's a whole healing. Stunning the Uranus. Look at the damage coming in from Marky. Blasting away at the Esmeralda. Wow. He's dancing away. Prancing to safety. And Wise is looking to punish. He's going to stomp down onto this Uranus. And here comes Edward and Haji.
none. What the heck is happening now? Both of the teams going turn after turn again. Both of the sides just baiting it out, and now we are going to take a look at a replay here, Will. Yeah, I think this is where we are going to see where that double stun came from. We're going to have to give it to Hatred. That's catching wise up and then delaying this way the Dragon for a little bit so that they can catch up. Eventually, there's the stun. It came from both Maloski as well as Marky. And then eventually, they just took two heroes, cutting down the deficit to just 800 and getting the mid-game. Big fight from Onyx, not this game's away from They need to win this game. And it was off of them just trying to win the fights, the extended fights now. The problem is, Marky has two marksmen. Marky was MVP in that fight, man. As they get to 12 and 14 minute mark, they're gonna do crazy damage. Not ca getting caught in the choke point that Blacklist International set up with that Nibiru's passion. But now, Blacklist 4,000 gold lead already down to a 700. This is where Onyx PH can look for some fights, can look for that banana split. Yeah, they closed the gap, and after two games, they finally figured out this fluid type of team play. This counter engage front liner, uh, light strategy. But actually, they have to invest in Arlita and Uranus to get it. But again, they're oh, 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 Blacklist retains their gold lead, keeping it at about a thousand, keeping that gap open. What's next here? Who do they target? I'm talking about Blacklist International because it looks like it's gonna be Beloisky dead as welcome into that Lolita. Is this a fight that Wise wants to take? No, but Blast onto the big guy though. Kyrie takes him down. Very nice pick off for the side of Onyx. Onyx, Onyx, come back a little bit right here. Oh, oh, oh! From down south, taking down the Beatrix. Oh my God, Lucky! The snipe from downtown as they're gonna look for the one. But yes, what I want to mention is this is where they're most comfortable, right? Onyx PH with the lead and going banana split. Lorsky on the arena just being such a nuisance, nuisance, distracting every single member. And look, objectives coming in their way. This is the Onyx PH. I expected to see Ooh, in game hit. one. Hatred finds one with a feather air strike response by Marky. Zoning away Blacklist International. And now, Banana Split has been engaged, win. boys. I mean, they did get a Lord here. They're I think it might be on it time. Okay. You know how they found the kill onto Weiss? Weiss was quite deep, yeah, but sure. But Onyx PH normally will not take the fight because that's a bad anyways. Hatred actually spotted out both Olev as well as Omei Venus, and he actually wasn't found by both Olev and Omei Venus. That little opening, that little information that Onyx PH was able to get and read onto Blacklist International allowed them to make a play against this Weiss Barracks. And, and eventually the fight. And that's exactly how Onyx should be playing, right? Answering heroes on a multiple level skill. Trade up! Trade up! <laughs> In that sense, oh, it was Hatred, the... who won, and now it's the arena yeah, down the bottom. You have, to, you have to really check him out. Marky. What, what was that? The damage from Marky, that's just Marky. Not the damage, he's, he's, he's playing. He's actually playing like a Forza, he's playing like a brawler, exactly. a fighter. He's going in, 1v5. He knew he used his mobility tool. To it game. Game. Check down bottom, Haji's in trouble. Oh, he uses that purified to protect himself. On it. They're gonna go ahead and take down a turret in mid. Now gonna be the inhibitor in mid as well. So that's tier two. And all Where? tier threes, they're all inside the base now. Belosi catches quite a bit. Might have been too much flicker, already used up. Holy healing by Omei Venus. That is welcome. Oh. Delarski purifying. No, actually oh, just Marky, okay. staying alive. It's cancelled and engaged by Blackest International. And it's enough. Marky is just... It's not good that Onyx didn't get a single inhibitor. That's really like bad. He's playing like 6 0 oh, and 3. I have to give it to Belosky though, he's very brave against Blacklist International. He's already at 4 deaths, has to be very careful actually. But I think he knows his limits, does have the Athena shield now. Oh, the Finds one way the dragon, oh! Oh, yeah. the perfect assassination, execution at its excellent. And that's going to be one traded out though. I mean, on worth it if you're going to be taken down at the marksman, but look at this jump by Edward. Marky. He's starting the Marky, shutting down the Farsa 2 for 2. It's getting messy, but it's what they need to close the gap. Yeah, honestly, this is exactly what they need, make it messy because inside of Blacklist International, they want to make it just very organized, play with the ultimate bonding experience. And honestly, that is why is that so surprising to us? Because we've seen more tank shows, more like semi tank shows in this tournament, finally seeing someone with high and dry and that much damage, able to just watch out Ohem, that's something that's so unnatural to us to our eyes right now. And I would really have to give it to Hatred, he probably have played it so much. He knows exactly how much damage he's able to get, yeah. I mean, nobody would have jumped in against three members of Blacklist International to think that there is a Rafaela to, to really sustain that guy, but Hatred knows that with his high and dry, he's gonna be able to get killed. Later this game goes in favor of Blacklist more and more and more. There you go, spot it out, he knows exactly where everyone is. Oh, oh, wait, 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 oh, oh my god, what a stun from the leader. Taking down Ohem, serving you up to Kyrie, and now Wise caught out in the middle of the game. Another way to drive the big guy though, Marky has his back with a feathered airstrike. Down goes Wise, played one for two so far, Marky getting that stun, taken down by Haiji. I'm looking at this top lane, getting protected, but yes, top lane is getting pushed in. Edward's still onto Maloisky here, and this is exactly where Maloisky wants to. Wait a minute, and they let go. Oh, he's just flipped, Richard. It's gonna be checked by Omega Venus. Spot it, spot it, look at how that just... The Uranus is behind him. He's actually fighting trouble here. The car is over. They're not done. Delarski slowing down Haji. There's the Nibiru's passion. Oh. Haji looking away the dragon. Oh, that's oh my god. Well. Oh. Oh. Look, 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 look. Edward looking for a moving blast. Unable to keep Omegina's down. Oh, oh and Hatred. Outplayed with a flicker. And there's the falling star moon. Enough for Edward to take him down. So messy. So many teamfights happening at the same time. Delarski chasing him down. And I think we're going to slow down here. Pace yourselves, boys. Nope, we're not. We're not. Nope, it's just Delarski by time. And there's the answer. By Marky. Feathered air strike. Blast the flame shot into the dark. Wise entropy. Switching it up. And okay, they disperse. They disperse finally. But then again, I think this is an opening for Blacklist International to actually. The Lord, they know that the better there's like a lot of great games. So that is, we can still win this game, boys. Will it be Blacklist International going 3 0? I'm gonna take a game right here. Only Jesus said we're just zoning them out. Great call from Blacklist International. My god, the way they chain these events together is just so unnatural, so well done by Blacklist International. But now it's time to take a look, deep dive at the items. Now we finally know why Hatred's doing that much. The Blade of Hepatitis and the BOD. This is a full damage show. But now, last item, he was building a little bit defensively now. Beloisky finishing up that dominance ice as well. At this point, we're talking about the late game. Who has it? I 
And can you see me say it's Blacklist International? They have two oh, marks. Wait, wait, wait. Another trap. What a pizza from Blacklist. Oh, they're going to get Marky here. And Delarski. Maloyski. Still the has a chance. Look at the show. Oh. Bela go and top lane. You got to watch top lane. Marky, Marky, Marky. This is very fast. Marky oh, gets taken down. Lane. Too late. Charging up the Numenon Blast. Oh, him. Forward entropy. In this case, backward. Trying to chase down Delarski. And Edward goes to answer the trap. Oh, he's going to get back. He has to stop this bottom lane push. No, no one's going to. No one can to. Oh, wait a minute. Maloyski, he's not going for the Lord. He's going for a fight. Yeah, because Kyrie made the call and Haji answers back with an abuse passion. But the damage is done. The damage is done. They get what a close game. What a hit and one damage. A great read. No, we don't need to engage anymore. And we're talking about scaling, right? Mercury, you asked this question. I would say it's easy for Black Lives Matter to take it. Then again, if you're looking at their itemization, it also amplifies that fact because now they have a leader shield that costs all heavenly wise, which means that they now have the ways to deal with a Marky. And so far, as good as Marky was in the first few minutes of the game, this time at 16 minutes, it's more difficult. Surely his uh, uh, his contribution to the team fight is still very good. The weight is still there. The damage, the birth is there. But then again, it's already being uh, answered by Blacklist International. Let's see right now, Blacklist International going in and zoning away the members from the side of Onyx. should take the turrets down in the mid lane as well. Beloisky, he's there, but you know, he's just tanking up damage. He's just trying to be a nuisance, but the damage is just simply too much from the side of Blacklist. Look at how they're able to control the map here. They take two ways for the price of one in that bottom side. Let's see. Yep, prime positioning for Marky, though. Despite the rocky and turbulent past couple of team fights, he still knows his job in right now. He put his foot on the clutch, changed gears, and then says that now they're playing a defensive game. Hatred, he's changed from being an assassin into a split pusher, and he's trying to find his free kill onto Edward. No way. 3v1, no, 4v1, but here comes the rest of Blacklist. Oh, they're gonna the go ahead and collapse. Look at the switch up. It's Marky now caught in no man's land. Oh, have gets him. And that's one down for the side of Onyx PH. Four defenders versus five. They're looking to siege. They're looking to get more inhibitors. Oh, man. You gotta have to be amazed how Blacklist International is just baiting Onyx PH so many times. Hatred wants to go for a play. Maybe onto Haji this oh, time. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Is he actually oh, looking to get it? Hatred, where are you going? Patience he has Hatred. free entry. There's a Numenum Blast. They are gonna take this inhibitor yet again. Oh, Edward goes oh. down. Maybe a little too forward. What is Hatred waiting for? No, 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 no. Patience from Hatred. Not here. Why because didn't he take the damage? And, uh, honestly, I do understand. Marky was taken down. Without Marky, it's only Kyrie that can really do, go and deal damage. But if you look at the compositions, do you really want that Yusuf Jin to dash forward? Exactly. It's not going to be an option whatsoever. So, very, very wow. good patient play coming in. Even though it might have looked like a good play. In the grandest. Uh, gra <laughs> it's just not gonna work. I don't know. You have to be careful with your Onyx. Oh, oh yeah. wait, that is wow. welcome. Purified here. Let's just see here. Let's by Marky. Oh, 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 this is this is Lord. This is Lord. Took too much. That's a two for one, and eventually yes, should convert into a Lord. Yeah, it looked really good for Onyx Page, but you gotta remember that it was the jungler traded for Venus. All right, Venus is only a roamer in this game. He's only died two times. It's not going to be that huge factor that can turn our way, turn around the game, especially in this 19 minute mark. Onyx Page, they might have picked too much, and they could chew right now. I agree. And now they're trying to split the map, but with uh, more heroes in uh, favor of Blackness International, a good Marky going for the steal will not get it. Not gonna happen. They tried it with the Ionic Edge as well. Here comes Hatred, catches a blast from Haji and Oheb as well. Nice jump in by Edward. Not gonna find any contact. Just like that, Blackness International scores a Lord and is back to doing damage control on the map. It's relatively blue, so at least Onyx has done good on that front. 4,000 gold lead for Blacklist, and they're going to be able to push in more here. Again, two inhibitor turrets taken away. That is two constantly pushing waves. They can build it up with the Lord as well. Look at the bottom side, slow pushing. Mid lane as well. Top side uh, can just do that, and this might just be the end of the game. This one's probably going to be the final fight either way. It's so 20, hard on it in the finish. Here we go, boys. Marky, you're the only wave here. What can Onyx do to stay in this game? He's already used it. He's already used it. That is true. He's going to have maybe one more. Oh. And Delarski, though, look at the burst on the side of Blacklist. Doesn't get caught by the render. Here comes Wise facing up Aloyski. And there's the damage from Ohem. Entropy already in tow. Delarski putting up a perimeter. The only hope left for the peel. Marky with a feather airstrike. Gonna save the Lord here this time around, but they will lose top lane. It's not over, they're still going. Look at how low the Larky is popping. 